Welcome to WRTI Presents Astral. I'm Susan Lewis. We're in the WRTI Performance Studio with astral artist Rachel Lee O'Brien on harp, along with guest artist Angela Massey on flute. Today's program pays homage to a part of the country very important to Rachel, and we start with a brand new work for solo harp. Take it away, Rachel.
That was beautiful. Wow. That was movement three from Walking with Spring by Stephen Snowden, expressing both the majesty and the intimacy of the Appalachian Trail. Why is this region so important to you and your harp, Rachel? Well, I was born and raised there. Um, I grew up in Roanoke, Virginia, which is a little valley, a city nestled in a valley in between uh, the Appalachian Mountains. And I come from a long line of ancestry from Appalachia. They were um, a wonderful, um, humble people, but also very loyal and um, dedicated to their families, very hardworking. And I feel like that should be celebrated. And it's so interesting to associate that region with a harp. But I understand you discovered your first harp when you were five years old at a fair, a craft fair. I did, yeah. In our region, we, we have a lot of craft shows that pop up, usually in the fall. And when I was five years old, my family took me to one. Um, there was a, a craftsman there making harps and selling them, and a lady was playing them. And at five years old, I saw my first harp and fell in love. We bought a CD, and I wore the thing out, you know, play, <laughs> <laughs> playing it over and over again. And... Um, that next Christmas, my parents got me my first full carp. It was about this tall. And um, they didn't know what they were getting themselves into because eventually it grew to, <laughs> to what we have today. <laughs> How big was that first harp from the craft fair? Um, the first harp I got was, um, it's, it was a full carp, so it was a little smaller, um, not quite as um, complicated as this one. Well, still pretty big for a five-year-old. That's a great story. <laughs> the next piece... We will be joined by Angela Massey. Come on in, Angela. Now, this piece, I understand, was written for flute and guitar, but Rachel, you arranged it for flute and harp. And I understand that we will hear some unusual sounds in it. So let's hear selections from Robert Beezer's Mountain Songs. Thank you. 
beautiful. <laughs> and not the way we might expect to hear the flute and the harp together. Wow. Those were some interesting sounds. The harp sounded very much like a guitar in places. Yes. Yeah, I, um, I used some ex special extended techniques in order to get some of those sounds, uh, like playing near the soundboard uh, down here. It gives a little bit of a drier, more guitar-like sound. Also, sometimes I was playing with my fingernails. And then in the last movement, you heard the pedal slides. So harps at the base of the instrument have seven pedals, um, which change the way the, the strings sound. So they change the pitches of the string from flat to natural to sharp. And so if I hit the string and move the pedal um, just with one pluck, and it creates a bend, a pedal bend, um, which created that effect. Sounds so cool. It was great. And Angela, you were playing the flute. Were there particular challenges for you in playing in this style? Right, well, it's a very unique style to try and copy. So there's some different accents and rhythms in it, as well as notations from the composer to play with or without vibrato in certain places, which is something you don't often see in flute music. Do you two play together frequently? We do. Actually, we play together in the Astralis Chamber Ensemble and do over 60 recitals a year all around the country. Oh, that's cool. So the next piece here we have is a piece that, Rachel, you wrote. I did. Could you tell us about it? Yes, the piece is called Fantasy on the Wayfaring Stranger. And it was based off of an Appalachian folk melody called The Wayfaring Stranger. Um, in Appalachian culture, uh, the idea of homecoming um, is a recurring theme. And so that's definitely a theme in this folk melody. It's about a traveler who's trying to get home and he's going through this long, strenuous journey over um, steep mountains. And uh, he compares his life to his, his journey home actually and, and hoping eventually to make it to heaven ultimately. And so he's comparing that, that long, arduous walk to his own life. So uh, when I wrote this piece, I imagined myself as a weary traveler <laughs> and um, the hope and anticipation I would feel if I had that thought of home um, keeping me going as I walked through my journey. Um, and, you know, the idea of a warm, well-lit home, a fireplace, a hot meal, um, those things uh, keeping me going and, um, and just, you know, I'm not home yet, but, but I'll get there soon. So that's the, the premise of this piece. And um, I premiered this and the Snowden um, yesterday in Philadelphia. And I'm excited to present it to you today. Oh, we're excited to hear it. And I guess coming home, may, you may relate to that as a musician who has to travel a lot. And it's always great to get home. Absolutely. Great. So let's hear the music.
Wow, what a magical piece. That was Fantasy on the Wayfaring Stranger, written by and performed by Rachel Lee O'Brien. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. The, Angela, why don't you come up with us? That, thank you both for, for coming and sharing your music with us. I, I think this music makes me not only want to learn more about the harp and the incredible range, at, but go to Appalachia. 
<laughs> you really captured it. Yes, thank you. Well, it's been a pleasure being here. Thank you so much for being our host today. Oh, it's been a pleasure. And to our WRTI audience, thank you so much for joining our WRTI Presents Astral Series. You can revisit this performance and more and learn about the artists and what they're doing at wrti.org backslash presents astral. <laughs>